Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. I just wanted to take a minute and wish you all a very happy holiday season. And for this week's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of all the Christmas decorations that I've made over the years using recycled materials. If you've seen some of my other videos or you follow my blog, you may already know that we have two cats and two dogs, which makes it a little tough to decorate with the traditional glass balls and other fragile Christmas decorations. So all of my Christmas decorations are pretty pet friendly and also non-breakable. I'm going to be linking throughout the video to a few of the other videos uh, projects in this corner up here. And you can also find links to all of the projects in the comments below. All right, my first project is outside in the backyard. I just made these uh, silly little plastic bottle uh, tree ornaments. I'm going to get a little closer here. I really like the way they look when the sun is shining through them. And they're, it was a really simple project. I added a couple of little lights and um, the, the ornaments are just wired onto the tree. So uh, like I said, it was super easy and you know, you can tell they're plastic bottles, but I still think it looks kind of pretty and fun. So that's my little plastic bottle Christmas tree. And now I'm going to take you inside and show you the decorations inside. All right, so I'm going to start with a medley of things that I actually am not putting up this year. Um, I just don't have room for them. These are some CDs and other little kabobbly things, plastic, uh, plastic bags that I used to make some big ornaments. They're actually kind of weatherproof, so I had them outside on my little tree in the back a couple years ago. And then these are made um, from like that heavyweight flyers that you get and some more food wrapper foil that comes on candy bars and frozen food and different things. So these turned out kind of a little bit too big for my tree also, so I'm not sure what to do with them. And then here I was just experimenting with sort of trying to make a different shape in it. It's kind of odd, didn't really turn out that great. Um, right here I have some little ornaments that I made from plastic bags. They're, the plastic is fused together and then stitched just like fabric, cut out and stitched like fabric. Then I have some snowflakes that I made from more uh, chip bags and foil food wrappers. I've had these on the trees in your in my on my Christmas tree in years past, but this year I kind of went with a more simple. I didn't really put too many ornaments on. I just put sort of a couple of different colored things on there. Uh, these are also little uh, single serving chip bags that I made some little Christmas balls out of with some jewelry wire. And then these are some kooky little ornaments that I made with some kabobbles and paint and then the base is uh, wine corks, upcycled wine corks. And then I also made an advent calendar. I never figured out anything to put in my advent calendar. I guess I could just put candy in there but um, this isn't all of it obviously but it gives you the idea of it and it's just made out of toilet paper tubes. So those are all the things that I didn't, I decided I just didn't have room for to put up this year. Um, so let's go on to the living room. I'm going to start with my faux metal cardboard joy. It's just weighted. It's in a tin can that I've kind of done a antique rusted finish on and weighted it down with some rocks. And then this is just like an old cereal box that I cut and made into sort of a faux metal display. 
The next thing I have is my little snowman over here on the mantel. He's just cut out of a book and then he's got a empty thread spool for a hat, some button eyes. He used to have little twig arms, but the cats have knocked them on the floor somewhere. Then I have my Christmas stockings. These are actually made out of an old uh, white towel and I painted a sheet red so that I could have red stockings. And then this is just, uh, the letters are just made out of some scrap cardboard. And on the other side of the mantel, I have my little book Christmas tree. Their little matchbox gifts underneath. And then the little balls are made with um, five gum wrappers. They used to have all kinds of different colors, so I got some pink and some red and some green. And I just made little Christmas tree balls for my Christmas tree. Then we're on to my actual Christmas tree. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. Um, so I just put three things on my Christmas tree this year, or four, I guess. I have my uh, foil chain that's made out of the you know chip bag wrappers and foil food wrappers. Then I have little plastic bag pom-pom balls in gray, white, and brown. And I used to hang them on the tree, but the cats knock them off so much I just kind of plop them on the tree now. And I really actually liked the way my plastic bottle uh, ornaments turned out in the backyard, so I made some blue, a blue version for the tree in here. And then this is, these little triangle boxes are actually gift boxes. So you can put little treats in them. I put a little couple pieces of candy and things in there. And then they're, uh, origa they're made out of origami and uh, I used pie tins left over from Thanksgiving of all things. So let me back up a little bit and see if you can see more of the tree. It's way too dark, I guess. I don't know, I might have to redo that. Um, let me pan over here to my little light box. This is a project that was really simple. It's just made out of the empty jewel cases from the CDs and uh, kind of taped together and then I just put some lights in there after I decorated the boxes. I think I'm going to open the drapes now. I kind of shut the drapes so that I could film this box, but it seems too dark in here, so I'm going to open the drapes now. All right, that seems quite a bit better, so I'm going to back up here, try to show you the whole room again. There's the mantle, my little light boxes, the whole tree. Let's see if the lighting's a little better on this guy now. About the same, I guess. Anyway, the last thing I have over here is my little kitty cat condo boxes. I never have my Christmas decorations done in, or my Christmas presents done until, you know, right before. So um, this serves two purposes. It gets some boxes under my tree right away. And it also serves as, you know, something for the cats to just play in. It's sort of modular. It's in three pieces, so they can, you know, you can move them around. I can't get far enough away, but this piece comes off as well. And you can just hopefully kind of see they can get in the back of all of these. So anyway, it was an easy project to do with all my extra wrapping paper, because I'm lazy and I also use gift bags, of course. And uh, so it's a quick way to put presents under the tree and also give the cats something to do. So my next project is my Christmas wreath. So I'm going to open the door here. Show you my Christmas wreath. made out of toilet paper tubes. 
I was gonna paint it green and then my hubby said, oh no, you should paint it, oh that's better. Paint it silver. So I like the way it turned out. All right, so that's my Christmas wreath. Now we're gonna go into the dining room. This is my newest project. I call it my Silver Winter Wonderland. It's made with all kinds of things that I save that are kind of silver and shiny. So there's some pie tin Christmas trees, a little pie tin swan on a mirror pond, my little house that's got pie tins and pull tabs and cardboard box and more of the Cheeto bag, you know, foil wrapper. And then I made some stars to go with it with the food wrapper foil. And my little sledding hill. These guys are made out of some pie tin. And my last project that I'm going to show you today is my little nesting dolls made out of tin cans. So they fit inside each other. The lids come off and just go back on and then they stack inside of each other. So I always thought this would be kind of a fun idea for a gift wrapping as well as just a decoration. All right, that's it for my trashy Christmas house tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and once again have a great holiday season and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and checking out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.